<clears throat> Warlocks, you guys will be going up for the Siege Breaker Armor Set Pieces video that I make, which is basically we get individual pieces from that armor set and then make individual sets from those pieces. So I've already made the Hunter and Titan video. They're both right here. You guys can check them out. Definitely check out the Hunter and Titan ones. They're pretty cool Titans. Man, that Saint 14 sibling look that I make looks amazing. Hunters, the poncho look that I that I made look amazing. That being said, I don't know if I have any really, really good ones in this video. Hopefully I do because I don't remember all of them. But that's probably a bad sign if I don't remember them. But I also already did the review video and the shader video for this armor, which is right here. The review video, we look at how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts. And I also... No class was safe. Everyone got the smoke. It was pretty rough. And then the shader video, we look at all the shaders that I currently have favorited because if I did all of them, I legitimately do fall asleep. So it's more just for my mental uh, health than anything. Not mental health, but it's just I don't want to fall asleep while I'm making a video. So let me know what you guys think. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed, which is hilarious considering my channel is actually doing a lot better than it used to. But it's the fact that just still a lot of people come to my channel and don't subscribe. It's free and I cover a lot of fashion. It's not just some armor pieces and some things here and there. I also cover like weekly vendors, uh, Zer specifically. And we go, especially if you're a new player, I go through all of the vendors that I think are worthy for you to look at and show you what they're selling in case you don't even know about some of these vendors. So. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet for this. And honestly, I don't think this is like the worst one. Definitely not the worst one considering I think there's like a really, really bad one here. And no, actually, some of these are pretty cool. Wow. OK, so this might be the bad one. Uh, but that being said, it's not bad by any means. It still looks really, really cool, especially when I explain some of the things here. So. For the exotic, we're actually going to be using the neck necrotic grip with the replicate exploit ornament, which is the SIVA inspired one. And obviously, because I'm using the replicate exploit, I'm going for an electrical slash mechanical look, which is why we're using the interlaced robes and the lightkin boots, the tangled web bomb. I mean, technically, you could even call this more of a splicer themed thing or splicer themed set. But you don't, I don't know. I think it's the helmet. If I switched out the helmet for a more, a more fallen themed helmet, then you can definitely be just like, like, oh, this is more splicer and more like OG splicer from like D1. Then yeah, I'd be like, yeah, that's fair. I would just have to switch the shader out. But I actually really like this one uh, specifically because Night Chill is such a good shader for this because the Tangled Web Bond, unfortunately, that glow does not change color. And I decided to go for something that has that glow, which is why interlace robes also a good choice because it, you had, you see that like line of glow coming out, which looks really, really cool. So I definitely think this is the weakest one from this video, not saying the worst one. Cause I don't think there's a worst one. I think some of these are pretty cool. Definitely better than the Titans and hunters considering there's one set in each of those videos where I was like, this is trash. Promise you this is trash. At least this one. I'm like, I can definitely use, see myself using this one because I, for some reason using necrotic grips a lot in my fashion so i'm just happy to have another replicate exploit uh look for my warlock let me know what you guys think as for the next set we're going to be using phoenix renaissance or Re renaissance uh ornament for <clears throat> for the dawn chorus which is one of my favorite helmets for for warlocks i think it just looks amazing for the chest piece, like Lycan robes is what I'm using because I, li I like how it goes with the Phoenix Residence ornament. The Siege Breaker uh, gloves is what we're using for this one. And I think this is a good choice for it because the fur doesn't like the fur is wide enough that the like armor pieces from the gloves don't look that weird. Uh, more from the males than the females because the females, the armor piece is a, a wider than the fur, but for the men's, the fur is wider than, or it's almost the same size. So I think that's really, really cool. For the boots, <laughs> Siege Breaker boots 
for that as well just because I wanted to use the two weakest portions. To be fair, I use the Siege Breaker gloves more than the Siege Breaker boots. I never use the boots because of the Pampers thing. Not Pampers, obviously, but the like white pieces and the thighs. I hate them with a f just passion. And then the whole Mord ornament just because I didn't want anything too crazy. For the shader and cryptic insignia is what I'm using just because I like this shader. And overall, this was more of just like a rule of cool type of thing. Like, let me just pull, put some of the coolest pieces that I like into this and see if it goes really well and unfortunately i have phoenix resonance i have like so many way so way better ornament like looks for this ornament which is why like this one is going to be the bottom of the barrel for me if i'm going for a phoenix resonance look this is going to be like the i don't i don't have anything better to put or i've already i'm got i've gotten bored with every other look that i've made and i kind of want to spice it up type thing so let me know what you guys think about this one as for the next one, we're going to be using the alternate conduction ornament for the Geomax stabilizers. And this one is going to be a variation of the electrical sets that I've made in the past. With the difference just being that I'm using the Siege Rake jacket, which I fucking hate this. I hate this chest piece with a passion. That being said, this looks pretty decent. I definitely would not use this for the Geomags because I already like the Geomag stabilizer, specifically the alternate conduction look that I made for it. But it's good to have a different like look for it, I guess, even though I'm also using the same shader, which is ultra plasmic. Literally, this is this would would probably be the like the like the the cheap or like the fake, not fake, but the bad one, I guess, because it's it's technically the bad one because the, the original one is way better. Like I would be using the arc like chess piece instead of the siege breaker jacket. And I think the arc like hood looks way better. So for the helmet specifically, Hark Light Hood is what we're using, Painted Katune Gloves for the arms, and then the Thorium Holt Bond for the bond. So yeah, nothing really to talk about. I've explained this one in multiple videos. And let me know what you guys think about this one. Last but not least, we're gonna be using the Siege Breaker Bond. And I decided to use the bond from for a whole set because I quite frankly did not want to use the boots and the arm for different sets. I just was like I can see myself using the bond more than the boots and the arms, which is funny considering it was this set just was more like a let's just combine it with glows and see how it looks. And I don't think this looks bad. Like the mind striders definitely looks really, really good with this. The ornament that is for the transversive steps, but I just I definitely would not use this. This is definitely a set that I'm like, I would probably have it in my back pocket. But I would never look for that back pocket. It would just be like, whatever. Um, it's it's there. It exists. For the helmet, Eagle's hood is what we're using. Resolute Champion gloves, Contender robes, and then Siege Breaker bond. For the shader, Iron to Steel is a great choice because obviously it's going with the same yellow as the bond. Because if you guys don't know, the bond does not change color. So overall, I'm not offended by this one. I think it's actually one of the better looks that I made with it because everything looks really, really cohesive and looks good. That being said, it's just it's just the glow. It's literally just the glow that I combined. I definitely will say I do think this is the best looking one just because the first one, I think it's the shader. Honestly, I think I have to switch the shader out for that one to make it look really, really good. Um, the second one does look really good as well. It's just the fact that I don't like the white on the pants. That really, really irks me a lot. And I'm not talking about the armor. I'm talking about the cloth. And then the third one I think is like cool, but it's more of a like, it's decent, but the look that I actually have the for the alternate conduction ornament, it looks way better. Like the other set looks way, way better. Like if that's a 10, then the look that I made for this video is probably like a, like a good five, maybe six. But yeah, I definitely think Warlock's got the short end of the stick for this armor. That being said, that doesn't say a lot because I think everyone's armor is pretty trash for the Siege Breaker. But still wanted to make these videos for you guys. So that way, if you guys wanted to see what i cooked with them then let me know what you guys think in the comments below i appreciate y'all if you guys haven't seen the hunter hunter and titan video these are usually the portions uh in the video where i talk about basically what i'm working on and i really have no update because i'm making all of these videos in one go so just to reiterate i have armor videos coming out i have exotic videos coming out i have the first descendant uh review video and uh if it's fashion viable if i remember correctly hold on let me see i have my notebook right here so yeah is it fashion viable and then the review which is going to be a full-blown review hopefully i can make that video because i really do want to make it 
and then the campaign will most likely be put on both channels my main channel and my second channel and yeah i have a lot of content that i'm going to be throwing at you guys but hopefully you guys are up for it because not only are we finishing up the siege breaker armor set for all of it but we're going to be getting started on the intrepid stuff for the classes so we're going to be looking at the review shaders and the class specific videos as well not only that but we're going to be looking at the new exotics that we got specifically hunters you're getting your second one because i've already done your first exotic which the first one was the chess piece the second one is going to be the uh, balance of power which are the boots and then after that titans you guys already well you guys should have your videos coming up soon because i already have those edited as well and warlocks is the one that i still need to edit and stuff so yeah i have a lot of content for you guys like a lot a lot and even after i'm done with all of these videos i still have the new or the new armor sets that i still haven't gotten specifically the dnd armor set and the seasonal ornaments which i still haven't done as well so don't think that oh i i don't have content i have so much content for you guys and even then like after i'm done with all of the reviews and everything we still have the old exotics to go through because we're still not done with those i could do some thematic videos and not only that i've genuinely do want to make more content for other for other games as well specifically final fantasy 14 the new expansion came out not too long ago and i want to play it because i want to get some of that armor because it's really cool uh world of warcraft i think their expansion's coming out either this month or probably already came out i don't remember and a lot of that armor is really cool as well so I, it's not just destiny 2 that i have fashion for warframe's another example and i do have a video planned in the back of my head where i compare the fashions of destiny 2 final fantasy 14 world of warcraft and warframe so we'll see about that video because it's pretty fat i want to make a, a script for it because i really want to be thorough with that video but let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later